Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a first math video here at version 42. We're looking at Profiteer, something that can boost your economy gain. Well, is it worth it? Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a math video. I am Silfen. I am sick, so I'm sorry if I'm not. If I don't make sense, stuff like that. Oh, I'm just sweating just sitting here. So, Profiteer here, guys. 2400 gold chaos card. That is combustible, so it's removed upon death, and that's pretty important. Meaning, well, you just lose out 2400 gold, just flat out, if you die. So, not dying, it's pretty damn important. Gain 55 bonus gold for enemy minion kills, though. And that's kind of how it helps your economy. If you can kill enemy minions, you'll get bonus gold, and eventually... You'll hit, hit a profit. So, when we take a look at the math and we just kind of break it down, the break even point when Profiteer is actually paid for itself. So, you know, you spend 2400 gold and you gotta earn that back is 44 minion kills. So, once you have 44 minion kills after, you know, equipping Profiteer, it's paid off. So, now you can finally be like, yes. I can go and, and run into the profits. So, after that, profit gold, when you reach a thousand, profit gold, that's 62 minion kills, including the 44 that you had to needed to break even, which is an, another, uh, what is that, 18, another 18 minion kills to get your thousand profit. And after that, you can see it's just 18, 18 more 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 minions and then there's a rounding in there and etc etc so about eight every 18 minion kills you get another thousand gold of profit so you know uh whether you think you can get 62 minion kills with with it on you get a thousand extra gold wonderful if you think you can get 226 minion kills you get 10,000 profit gold i say kind of i kind of leave it up to you to, like, well well we'll make some judgments later on now i also did something a little bit different and hopefully this makes sense so using a master carries average creep farm i looked at about three four five games of various masters players um and just kind of looked at their carries and kind of looked at how much how much cp they were getting or how much how much cp how much how much gold and what their creep score was etc etc and i used game time so this is game time in minutes two minute this is game time all the way up to you know 30 and honestly i couldn't find i couldn't find a game past i think 34 minutes so i extrapolated using using their uh just how much they were getting and of course it increases the later on and so this this is this is extrapolated here actually this is extrapolated um but this this was very common this is just what these masters players uh were able to do so i think that is a very fair est estimation so there you go so Average creep score here at two minutes was nine. Average creep score at the 10 minute mark was 60. And then I just kind of put creep score per minute. And that is kind of the rate that they were getting, you know, from that whole time. So they were getting six creep score per per minute uh, here at the, at the 10 minute mark. And you know, you can kind of see, you know, where that profit gold lines up with, uh, with, with the game time. You know, if 5,000 extra gold is 135, well, that's 20 minutes, 20 solid minutes, even even assuming you could run Profiteer, um, you know, right from T equals zero, which you can't. Yeah, so there you go. Now, what I also did over here, if you guys take a look, it's, uh, this hopefully makes sense as well. Hopefully I explain this. So minutes to pay off per profit gold. So. This is the payoff point, and if you equip, if you equip Profiteer at this minute, you know, at, at, at T equals 10 minutes, at the 10 minute point, and you're making six CS per minute, um, it pays off in seven minutes. For ten, for a thousand extra gold, it takes 10 minutes. For two 2,000 extra profit gold, it takes 12 minutes, etc., etc. And, and as you can see, because your creep score uh, your 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 farm increases in speed the farther the game goes as minions get minion sizes minion waves get bigger and you clear waves faster 
Obviously here, uh, later on in the game, it takes less time to pay off than earlier, but the whole point is maybe to in the beginning. So anyways, this kind of makes sense. Hopefully this is valuable to you. Um, I just find it interesting that later on in the game, um, it's a, there is, there is a fairly significant difference, like you two minutes to get two, two less minutes to get 2000 profit gold in, in the later part of the match than before. I don't know. That's could, could be helpful. Now here is a little bit more of a relevant way to look at pro, uh, profiteer. So we're going to go into different scenarios. This scenario, you do not die the entire game. You do not die. So, game time is two minutes. You cannot get Profiteer at the two minute point. Um, and what I did was I just looked. I was like, hey, what? how fast can these, could these Masters players get 2400 gold? Assuming they spend the, the, the their first thousand on something useful and really, you honestly should. So at the four minute point, they can, they can get uh, Profiteer. Wonderful. So right there, they're sitting at minus 1,795 profit gold because they are losing money because they've had to pay for it, etc., etc. So there you go. Uh, and then it, and then finally you, you reach a profit at the 10 minute mark, only 405 gold. What do you do? But hey, it it slowly increases the more you go. And look at this. You know, by the 24, 26 minute mark, which is a lot of these matches were ending at the 24, 26 minute mark. Finally, hey, you get almost a hellfire engines worth of free so basically if you don't die in this scenario you get a free hellfire engine at the 24 26 minute mark for so that you can just wreck face as a carry and just kind of close out the game which a lot of these games were ending at the 24 26 minute mark that's pretty cool but that's no that's no deaths and let's be real even these masters players died a couple times in the game everybody dies so that is simply unrealistic in my opinion in scenario two you die during the laning phase at the eight minute mark and actually of the three of the two of the three three of the four matches all of the carries on both teams had died in the laning phase so if we're going to assume that they die at the eight minute mark Again, four minute mark, you get Profiteer, but at the eight minute mark, you die and then you buy it again. So now we're now we're in the hole, 2,655 gold. And as you can see, it takes all the way up to 16 minute mark to even get a tiny little profit, 370 gold. And as you can see, by the 24, 26 minute mark, when the game ends, assuming if you don't die, eh, you get a couple attribute points worth, I don't know, I mean, We'll make some conclusions later on. That's really not that much profit goal. Assuming you don't die in the mid and late game, which it's, it's not very reasonable. Here, in the scenario three, we're going to die in the mid game. You survive the laning phase, but you die at the 18, 18 minute mark, which is almost a late game in today's, in today's meta, but should be the mid game. Game time, as you can see, the same thing as scenario one, but at the 18 minute mark, you die. And as you can see, you lose some profit gold, but 24, 26 minute mark, it's basically the same. I mean, there's no, no surprise there. Basically the same as the previous scenario, three to 4,000 extra, extra gold there. Scenario four, which is honestly the most likely scenario in my opinion, you die twice. Once in the early game, once in the mid game, as you can see, again, it starts off the same, cannot get it, four minutes. Then you die at the eight, eight, eight minute mark, you finally at the 16 minute mark pay it off and get a tiny little bit of profit but at the 18 minute mark you die you buy it again and finally you can see it doesn't take actually too long it just takes four minutes to pay it off again because your creep is your your creep score is is, is or your you can farm faster in, in the later part of the game and by the 24 26 minute mark you're only 1300 gold or to 2100 in the profit so i mean you guys can make your your own assumptions i here um they're your own conclusions i here made these conclusions for myself so some some key some clear conclusions that are just factual statements profiteer pays off at 44 minion kills so whenever you put profiteer on 
you can look at your creep score and go, okay, I need to make 44 mini kills and then I've paid it off. Now, at the 11 minute mark is on average around that payoff point, um, including the amount of the amount of gold and creep that you need to buy it and then pay it off. So that's the 11 minute mark. 11 minute mark, if you don't die, that's when it, that's about when it pays off. The most games though end around 165 to 178 creep score. So if we go all the way back here, you can see, uh, you can see here that 24, 26 minute mark, um, you know, the, again, these master carries players, master, masters carry players were, that was their creep score roughly in, in general was about that. So as you can see, uh, if they don't die, they're getting six, 7,000 extra gold in that Hellfire engine, which is not very realistic. So those are some, those are some, some, some statements, so there are some, some conclusions, some factual conclusions we can make, um, about profiteer and all and everything that surrounds it, but some statements that I am going to make personally about profiteer dying twice, in my opinion, is incredibly likely. Profiteer would not be worthwhile given this likelihood. Again, if you die twice, uh, it's just likely. I mean, you can see, it's just it's just not worth it. I mean, a few thousand extra gold to carry around a card that it's, in my opinion, Profiteer would not be worthwhile given this likelihood of you dying twice in a match. If you don't die though, which is very unlikely, you could profit a whole Hellfire engine by the 26 minute mark, which is usually when matches are, are finishing nowadays, or the 12 or 12,000 gold by a 36 minute mark, which is when matches should end, really. So if you don't die, if you got a phase absolutely babysitting you, you and a phase are going in hard and hard banking on the fact that you're not gonna die, I mean, sure. The possibility is there. But the final statement here, and this is my conclusion uh, on Profiteer. Given the importance of early game stats and cards, which is the opportunity cost of Profiteer? We haven't discussed that at all. What's the opportunity cost for, for, for getting Profiteer? And that is early game stats, your attribute points uh, and attributes and cards, which can help with your farm, your damage, securing kills, snowballing in other ways. And, you know, that's obviously very huge. And the likelihood of dying at least once or twice, I personally would not recommend Profiteer. I mean, if it's if, if, if the likelihood is you're going to die twice and you're only going to, by the time the game ends, and you always have it on, profit 1,000, 2,000 gold, that's simply not worth it. When you can get other stats, other cards, and snowball in other ways, get more farm, like just... Just get the last hit card. Like I mean, you know, uh, secure some more CS, secure some more CS that you would that you would have otherwise lost. Things like that. Um, I personally would not recommend Profiteer. They're just there's too much against it. I mean, it is a high risk, high high reward. And you know what? If you're gonna play that game and you can get away with it, I mean, you can. I mean, hey, a free Hellfire engine by the 26 minute mark. That sounds. Pretty darn good to me. Please like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, share it with the community, and of course, guys, subscribe. If you guys like this content, especially if you found it useful, please subscribe so I can do it for you in the future. If you'd like to support me on a regular basis, please head on over to my Patreon account where you can make a pledge to help me do what I love. Till next time, like always, guys, stay optimistic and positive.